What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Very, very excited to bring you guys this video finally. We get to showcase the 6 plus gold D Roger. And it has been a long time coming, you know, a little bit of a bait from Bandai because a lot of the players have been waiting for these super evolution skulls to super evolve this character. And finally, with the release of the treasure map, we have the skulls necessary to do that. And I know a lot of people are still going to ask, how do I super evolve my Roger? Well, if you have been reading the event information, it does tell you exactly how to get the skulls. I might make like a shorts video about this as well, to be honest, because a lot of people seem to be asking. One skull is available from this event right here that you're seeing, which is versus the Kaido Turtle Farming event. Another one is from the Blitz Battle versus Black Maria. If you missed it, you did not get the skull. Another one was from Grand Party. If you missed that, you also missed the skull. Two copies from the treasure map. So if you had gotten all of them up until this point, you would be able to super evolve Roger. And we don't know how many are going to be available during the Kizuna Clash, but I would assume another two copies of the skull uh, the skulls are going to be uh, available during that Kizuna, meaning that by that point, if you hadn't got all the skulls when the Kizuna comes out, you are going to miss out and you'll have to wait a couple of months before the skulls are available in the Kizuna Clash Exchange. So hopefully you guys have been farming and being able to pick up all these skulls because I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite characters in the game, receiving this super evolution, making him so, so much better. He didn't even need a six plus, but they gave him one and it just makes him so much better. So I guess let's take this opportunity now to discuss exactly what Roger is capable of doing. His captain ability is slightly different, but to be honest, they haven't really changed that much. It's like the, the exact same captain ability as before. He has the really neat ability of nullifying the effects of removed beneficial effects and removed accumulated values once per quest. And they actually have altered the uh, little clip animation that occurs during this period of time when you uh, are resisting the removing beneficial effects. Um, so that's cool. I like that they have slightly updated that. They didn't really need to update that, but they did. And then in terms of the attack boost, it is a rainbow, five times attack boost and a 1.3 health boost and completely removes the crew's despair. So not like a lot of other captains that resist, you know, uh, 10 turns of a certain debuff. He just straight up 100% resists all turns of despair. It's very, very powerful. Then he further goes on to say that if you use the Divine Departure of Obliteration, which is his special, then for the following three turns, instead of a five times boost, it goes to a 5.25. So a very minimal increase. Um, I think it would have been nice if they kind of upped that to 5.5 just because. Uh, because, you know, five times to a 5.25 is like such a minimal difference. I mean, to be honest, I don't think that really needed to be there. To be honest, it could have just been a 5.25 times flat all the time. And he still would have been great. But still, a little bit of a buff during turns that he used the special, which uh, is fine. You know, as we said, the, the captain ability of this character didn't really need that much changing they just basically gave him better multipliers upping from 4.5 that scales to five times now it's five times scaling to 5.25 so across the board very very good captain but when you see some of the clips in this video you'll actually see that you know you can actually synergize this guy with a lot of really good characters in this instance here we're using versus ace and when was the last time any of you guys used versus ace as a captain and i can guarantee it probably wasn't any time recently but he's obviously very good for this because of the fact of special reverse and you know using an ace character on the team allows you to um, activate the super type of roger which we'll talk about in just a moment but roger can synergize in a lot of other ways as captains you could use like like Sai Yamato to remove bind and then you have you know your Roger for despair so that's a really cool synergy there the new legend release of versus Yamato also Nami and then even to the extent of the Demonio Flu Robin can also be used alongside Roger if you opt to do something like that you know Roger can be your attack booster like Robin for example has a super class special that can give you an orb boost so really cool synergy there also, 8.5 Anniversary Zoro could be potentially used as a, as a hybrid captain. Or even KDAD, which we do use in one of the upcoming clips as well, due to the attack down removal and the captain ability. Now, of course, if you are using KDAD, you do need to kind of run mainly slashes on the team. But still, it's good synergy there, especially because of Odin and the way that Odin can synergize with both KDAD and also Roger together, as you see in the upcoming clip here. But also characters such as Film Red, Snake Man, Super Sugo Fest Exclusive, or Super Tandem Luffy, Carrot and Wanda are such a good character for Goldie Roger, um, even the Legend Dogstorm or Legend Cat Viper to run some speed farming type teams, despite the fact that, you know, Roger being a Psy unit doesn't really work well with Dog and Cat, you know, the rest of your crew can be that and will be completely fine. 
or even running all the way back to like Roger and Whitebeard and just run like a mono slasher team or even you run, run like a striker team or whatever you want to do with that like even old school Roger Whitebeard uh, can work as a, as a friend captain so Roger has a lot going for him the fact that he's a rainbow captain with very very usable um, effects in his captain ability and a very powerful special which we'll also talk about very very shortly when you opt to use him as a captain, you get access to the super type effect, but the activation requirement, it is actually the exact same as before with one addition. Now, Scopa Gaban is one of the available characters that you can use in order to activate the super type of Goldie Roger, which is interesting um, because Gaban only has two characters in the game, one of them also being a Rayleigh character, so I guess it didn't really matter that much, and the other Gaban actually being a Rumble Rare Recruit, which are not characters you actually use in normal content. So I like the fact that they have updated it though it doesn't actually matter in the long run i guess it's kind of a future proofing kind of thing the super type special itself is actually getting a buff as well before this it was just a full board of orbs through block slots and then locking them for one turn now he's going to go ahead and give minus one cooldown to the whole crew and then also the orb lock is for two turns instead of one turn previously so that is a massive massive increase and uh, the fact that you can synergize him with V1 Odin to change the matching slots into Wano and having Wano slots locked for multiple turns is ridiculous. So I gotta say that the super type effect is really, really strong. And the fact that you can use it in a way to get around special reverse mechanics, you know, you can just save it for the last stage. If you get special reversed, you can literally just use his super type special to get around that as well as getting matching slots and then locking them. So really, really nice uh, little added niche ability here for Goldie, Roger and his super typing effect. And then Goldie Roger's special ability also did get a pretty interesting buff. And you know, Roger didn't really need that much of a buff with his special in the first place, but they decided to give him one. So the first major increase here is the fact that it now no longer does 1 million fixed damage to all enemies through everything. It now does 1.5 million, so just a bit of extra damage there. And yeah, that does go through normal attacks only as well. So it is guaranteed 1.5 million damage no matter what. Then, the attack boost that Roger provides to the crew has also been slightly updated, where before I believe it was a range from 2 times 2.5 or 3 times multiplier, depending on how, how much damage with normal attacks you had done before launching the special. So now what they've done is, is that it starts at 2.75, it can go up to 3 times, and then it max out at 3.25 times attack boost. And that is a rainbow attack boost, by the way, as well. So the fact that this character has a very good rainbow captain, he has a super type special that is good for almost every team out there, and then he has a special ability that is a rainbow attack boost. So... You know, just across the board, this is just a phenomenal unit, right? Uh, and normally, this is where his special would end. However, with the addition of his level limit break, and, uh, well, not a level limit break, uh, he hasn't got one of those yet, but the 6 plus has added an additional effect that if your crew already has an attack buff when you launch his special, he's going to give you a 2.25 color affinity boost for 3 turns for the whole team. So that is just also ridiculous now that he can have, you know, an attack boost so high and then a really solid color affinity boost. And then he has also the added effect, which is not really that useful, but in a couple of team instances here in this video, you'll see that that's actually been pretty useful in the fact that whenever you have an orb boost and he is your captain, he extends the duration of the orb boosts by two turns. Now, if, I'm a, if I remember correctly, I think before this, it was only a one turn um, orb extension so that's a huge increase as well and the fact that he has his captain ability that can negate the removal of beneficial effects or accumulated values means that carrying these massive orb boosts over multiple different stages you're able to keep it because he can resist the blow away of your beneficial effects so it just a perfect synergy here within his captain his super type and his special ability that works so well with a lot of characters in this game now and of course since you know roger's initial release there have been so many characters that have come out that work so well with this guy and just ultimately he just is straight up one of the best characters in one piece treasure cruise with the introduction of his super evolution and they have left his level limit break open so that he could potentially receive even more buffs in the future I'll leave you guys with the rest of this clip here, and we'll pick things up when we talk about the final clip, which is versus the Revolutionary Army number two, which is not something that I do that often, but with Goldie Roger, he kind of handles it pretty comfortably. <laughs> So 
So as I stated, I don't actually run the more difficult guard challenges all that often because they just I just find them very, very tedious to run. But of course, with how many powerful characters that we have in today's day and age in 2023, a lot of these older guard challenges, even these difficult ones like Dofi 2, Rev 2, are actually pretty straightforward, you know, compared to what we used to have to deal with with the characters that we had in our character box. So this is just showing off how, you know, Roger is able to beat, you know, some more difficult hardcore content. Now we are using the New Year's Legend Nami on the team and she is actually super cool here. We're actually uh, getting a really good opportunity here to uh, like utilize her crewmate ability. For those of you who don't remember what that does, anytime you're inflicted with paralysis, she reduces it by half and however many turns she reduced it, she gives herself cooldown reduction. So we're able to use her special on one stage and then we can, you know, stock up her cooldown once again for the final stage so we get like absurd damage potential. And uh, then we also have Kara and Wanda which are so good for this particular stage, well not, well, not this stage exactly, but this, uh, this piece of content. The cooldown reduction to get uh, the rest of our specials ready once again, but also the fact that with Kara and Wanda they kind of single-handedly deal with the Morele stage. We do need some type of special that can get around resilience, which is where the new Nami is able to come in here and deal with the resilience, Kara and Wanda deal with the rest for the Morele stage. Now, Hiori is a huge asset to the team here, mainly it was used to remove the bind that gets inflicted to the crew on multiple different occasions. Also, being able to heal up whenever we're at, we're at low HP is also very, very nice. And obviously, you cannot discredit the full board of Wano slots that is also locked for multiple turns, and being able to abuse those is obviously very, very good. Now, uh, we are also using the Akainu on this team, and mainly he's just here to get rid of paralysis and attack down. Uh, both on one of those particular stages. We do use some supports to get around the initial hit of attack down that is inflicted on the hack stage and then Akainu kind of single-handedly deals the Bello Betty stage here. Now we do actually stall a turn here on this Bello Betty stage. You know, we could have actually killed in one turn here, but it's due to the fact that I don't have Hiori a max level limit break. If we did, or max um, uh, limit break expansion, if I did have that, then we wouldn't have to do the additional turn of Stall, but you know it is what it is we then move on to the Lindbergh stage we have to stall um, in order to actually uh, get past it to make sure that the Hiori special is maxed and ready to go and then after that we can swap with Kara and Wanda they give themselves their own attack boost we have the full board of Wano slots and we can deal with that pretty comfortably and then when we get to the Karasu stage, we have Karam Wanda special, which makes their normal attacks bypass the enemy defensive effects. So we don't even have to worry about the damage threshold that Karasu inflicts to himself and Wanda having super effective damage and we get a huge orb boosting effect. It's really not an issue. And the fact that we also have Roger special means that we can extend the orb boost that the Kara and Wanda inflict to the crew, which means that we can carry an orb boost into the last stage. And another really cool thing about it is, is because we don't have to do many taps at all we're going to have a full board of one slots essentially for the last stage and we have just so much damage um, when we get to the sabu koala stage at the end with roger special orb boost from kara wanda and also nami special but that is going to wrap it up for me thank you so much for watching the video hopefully you guys did enjoy it and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video.